Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I will be covering what is a C chord. So the straightforward answer, what is a C major chord? That would be C, E, G. And then C minor chord is C, E flat, G. So I'm going to cover the difference between the majors and the minors. So the happy chord is a mix of a major third on the bottom and a minor third on top. So a major third is four half steps and a minor third is three half steps. So you've got four plus three. Now the sad chord is the opposite. So does that mean? It means that on the bottom you have a minor third and on top you have a major third. So it's a mix of three on the bottom plus four on the top. Now let's go to our chords and you're going to start on all the white notes. And a chord, which a triad more specifically, is a group of three notes and you're always skipping in between them. So we're going to go to C. So this is your this is your chord. So a C chord is C, E, G. Now how do you know if that's happy or sad? To me that sounds happy, it's obvious, but to some it might not be. So let's count. So here's your C chord. You're going to start on C, and you're going to count upwards to E. One, two, three, four. So if we have four on the bottom, we should have three on top. So we'll go to E and count. One, two, three. make it sad. The difference between a major and a minor chord is one note. You never change your outer ones. So the bottom and the top always stay the same and the middle one is the one that goes down. So when we're happy it goes like this and when we're sad it goes down. So you're going to take your C chord and the E, the middle one, is going to go down to the left to the very next note which is E flat. So that gives us C, E flat, G. Now let's count make sure we've got three plus four. So start on C. You're going to count to E flat. One, two, three. So that's three. So that's our C to E flat. Now go to E flat and count up to G. One, two, three, four. So we do three plus four. Okay, so that's C major and C minor. Now, if you have my lovely cascade book, and this is Olivia the Octopus, and as you can see, she's right behind me, and she's my little helper. Anyway, okay. Let's call C C major. If you have my book, we are working on chords one, and we are covering the first little C urchin. So in these little waves, you'll be writing in what the three notes are. So you're in the first wave, sort of C, you're going to write C, E, G, and then underneath C minor, you're going to write C, E flat, G. Now, if you have my book, and you can do C major with your right hand on your left hand, you know, you get to color in those little boxes, and if you can do C minor, your right and your left, color in those four little boxes. And that's it for C major and C minor.